right, so we're gonna do DOM manipulation. Oh, I don't need that. Oops. I don't need that. Let's create a link outside. I think. Create a header. Let's create, let's try to select the body first. This guy doesn't care actually. Okay, there we go. Much prettier. Um, let's select the body. Let's make the body. Okay, first up in the body. So body style. Does not work. Hmm. So cold then. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, Alright. Let's check this out. Okay, we're gonna go. Okay, we're gonna go. Alright, so we're gonna create... We gotta look here, over here. So we're gonna select the body. Okay. It's document. The namespace is document because this entire thing is document DOM. And we're gonna query the selector body. Next, we're gonna have an interval is red. To make it false, so we're gonna do an annoying flashy thing that changes colors. Set interval. This is how it works. It's a uh, function. That's how it's function. That's how it's call it. Uh, this keyword. Let's call it switch color. And we're gonna set the interval to a thousand seconds. 
JavaScript function. Function. Switch color. We're gonna pass in nothing. So is red. Body style dot background equals to white else body dot style background equals to red. And it should work out. Should work. Oh, I'm missing something. There it goes. Now it's annoyingly blinking. Uh, let's make it like two seconds. One, two. I forgot this because, like, to keep it rotating, you always gotta make it false. When it's true, make it false. Make it true. Make it false. Make it true. Make it false. And it'll check every second. So if this is true. We'll t make it false, and then it's gonna keep on doing that every two seconds. That's what's happening here. So let's run this down again. Let's make it big. Okay, first we're storing the variable in body, so we can here, and we're gonna try to grab the body with query selector. The document is the namespace of this document browser thing, and we're gonna try to grab the body. The body is like you know, we type HTML, the header, the body, that's it, and then we're gonna start out the variable. We're gonna store the variable is red, false. Because you need something to compare. If you're not looking to compare, then how you do an if it else statement? You just either make it true. You just put in true. I mean, just keep on doing it. One thing, and then after that, it doesn't do anything anymore. So we make it false. So when it's false, it turn it red. And then red becomes false again. It becomes true. Right here. But the, this, there's a loop right here. It. it like calls a function every two seconds. You don't need this because it'll invoke this first, and you don't want that. So it's gonna skip everything. This will only, will make it invoke every two seconds. Because if you put that, it'll invoke. Because like it's inside then outside, and then once inside's done, it's like okay. Uh. It's like inside immediately invoked, and then the outside's like not, not gonna be able to do it because it's already done. You don't want that. You want the outside to control when it goes. Let me see what I'm saying. And that's my tutorial, and I'm done.